Today we drive through windswept Don Quixote country, stopping in at Consuegra to have a churro, sniff the saffron, and admire a whitewashed windmill or two. And we just happen upon a rollerblade race right through town. And I know how uh, they told you about these young people before going home, going to the churreria. Yes, of course, they also have hamburgers and uh, sandwiches. Yeah. But for each one of those kids, you have 10 mothers or fathers, 10 parents coming here early in the morning, <laughs> like this lady who just came to get churros for the kids, the wifey, husband, family. <laughs> Now on to the windmills. Notice the long poles at the rear of the windmills. This is how they manually turn the tops to keep the windmill facing the wind. It's never too cool or windy for a picnic, especially when you have a nice crema de arrojo, a distilled wine liqueur. Our lunch stop was at a very nice cafe, Maison Cervantes, in Puerto La Piz, of course with the Don Quixote theme. Although Spain banned billboards that advertised alcoholic beverages along the freeways, the Toro de Osborne billboard was allowed. Made it to Granada. Here we head up the Abazine Hill to the Moorish Quarter for dinner with our group and enjoy a sunset view of tomorrow's street, the Alhambra. Alhambra, originally constructed as a small fortress, in 1889, its ruins were renovated and rebuilt in the mid-11th century by the Moors. Alhambra was rediscovered in the 19th century and today is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Brightly colored interiors feature panels of highly decorative ceilings and other woodwork. The ceilings, floors, and trim are made of dark wood and are in sharp contrast to the white plastered walls. Now this is some heavy duty door hardware. This script translates to God is the only victor, and it is repeated over and over. The Court of the Lions is an oblong courtyard surrounded by a low galleries supported by 124 white marble columns. In the center of the court is the Fountain of Lions, 
an alabaster basin supported by the figures of twelve lions in white marble, symbols of strength, power, and sovereignty. Across the valley is the restaurant where we had dinner last night. Outside the Alhambra is the palace of Carlos V. Emperor Charles conquered the Moors but left the Alhambra untouched and built his own palace. What's with all those large rings? Garden of the Architect is an outlying building connected to the Alhambra. The villa dates from the beginning of the 14th century, but has been restored several times. Martyr's Villa on the summit commemorates Christian slaves who were forced to build the Alhambra and confined here in subterranean cells. <laughs> 